This weekend, we'll find out who will succeed Elizabeth May as leader of the Green Party of Canada. Eight candidates are running, including a woman named Annamie Paul, who is Jewish. Her candidacy appears to have exposed what some say is a troubling anti-Semitic undercurrent in the party. As our chief political correspondent David Aiken reports, it's not the first time the Greens have had to deal with this. We will launch a plan to solve the climate emergency. Human rights lawyer Anami Paul is, by some measures, the front runner to become the next Green Party leader. According to figures provided by the party, she leads all candidates in terms of fundraising and number of contributors. We believe that we can win seats with integrity, with good public policy, with evidence-based public policy, and that's really what it's about for, uh, for me. But as popular as she's been with many Green supporters, others, she says, have attacked her for being Jewish. I have been subjected to what can only be described as an unrelenting onslaught of comments and commentary and trolling online. It's hardly the first time Canada's Greens have had to deal with the accusations of anti-Semitism within its ranks. In 2014, then-party president Paul Estrin, also Jewish, quit in disgust after being attacked by some in the party for condemning the actions of Hamas terrorists. And in 2018, the party's justice critic, Dimitri Lascaris, accused two Jewish liberal MPs of being more loyal to Israel than to the prime minister. Lascaris's attack was widely condemned by all party leaders, though he rejects the view his comments were anti-Semitic. Well, I think one has to really get a, a good handle on what anti-Semitism is and understand that legitimate criticism of the state of Israel is in no way, shape or form anti-Semitic. Lascaris is now a top contender to become leader of the Green Party, second to Paul in fundraising, in fact, and he rejects the idea that the Green Party has a problem with anti-Semites. I think that there is a serious problem with anti-Semitism in this country, and I think where you're going to find that is predominantly on the right wing of the political spectrum. Still, he's a contender only after overcoming opposition to his candidacy from party executives and from the last leader, Elizabeth May, who fired him as justice critic after his 2018 comments. My views and the party's views are solid on this. Uh, I think, you know, uh, t to the extent that anybody is running for leader of the Green Party of Canada who has expressed anti-Semitic views, uh, they shouldn't have been allowed to run. In allowing Lascaris into the leadership race, the party's governing council would only say that its, quote, concerns were satisfied and that it trusts in its membership. Donna? All right, David Aiken in Ottawa, thanks.